Oh, the first ladies have just gotten into the ring and it's round one. Melania Trump and Dr. Joe Biden. Hmm. Seems like they would be besties. They have so much to chat about. Joe Biden is a doctor. Melania Trump used to take pictures with not really much clothing. And yet, Melania is the person known for wearing that, you remember, I don't care, do you, jacket. You remember that when she was off to see immigrant children, that Melania Trump. Well, there's a storm of Bruin between the ladies in this breaking story, and it should come as no shock to anyone. Bear in mind, Donald Trump is already starting his isolationism and dictatorial raid on the White House by telling senators to just stay away over the holidays. I got this. This breaking story regarding Melania and the traditions of the White House is payback big time for four years ago and not remotely being subtle about it. This is a little bit of their history right here. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is on the cover of the new Vogue magazine, just six months after moving into the White House. Melania Trump never made it. That has fans of former First Lady Melania Trump up in arms. She was denied the cover all four years she was in Washington, a policy apparently dictated by legendary Vogue editor Anna Winter. You have to stand up for what you believe in and you have to take a point of view. Even Stormy Daniels appeared in the magazine. In conversations secretly taped by Melania's former friend Stephanie winston Wolkoff, Melania brings up Stormy. Annie Leibovitz shot the porn hooker. What do you mean she, sh she shot the porn hooker? Stormy. Shut the up. For what? Oh, you didn't read it? Yeah, it was yesterday came up. For Vogue. She will be invoked. Uh, Annie Leibovitz shot her. When President Donald Trump returns to the White House for another term in January, Melania Trump will reprise her role as First Lady. I want to also thank my beautiful wife, Melania, First Lady. The first four years she spent in the White House giving us clues about what a second stint might look like for the wife of the now 47th U.S. President. Please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump. Melania Trump took pride in overseeing extensive renovations at the White House, writing in her recent memoir, These projects, executed quietly and without fanfare, were my part of contributing something lasting and beautiful to the American people. She also writes, as First Lady, she was committed to using her platform for the greater good. She created her Be Best initiative to fight online bullying and expanded it to help children affected by the opioid epidemic. My Be Best initiative. Yeah, Bob Seger did a song called Turn the Page, and we have an idiom that is turn the other cheek, but it looks like the only cheek that anybody's going to be seeing on Melania is the one that's a little more south instead of the one up here, because she just told Jill Biden in this breaking story to take a hike. Melania Trump will not be attending the traditional White House meeting on Wednesday with First Lady Jill Biden, sources said. Traditionally, when the outgoing president hosts the incoming president-elect in the Oval Office, the First Lady hosts her successor for tea in the residence. Joe Biden extended Melania Trump the customary invitation last week, as her husband also invited the president-elect to the Oval Office, a symbolic gesture to show the country and the world that there will be a peaceful transition of power. And an implicit rebuke of Donald Trump, who refused Joe Biden the same meeting in 2020 as he contested that election's results. The two are set to meet on Wednesday at 11 a.m. according to the White House. Melania and Jill have yet to speak in the aftermath of Kamala Harris's humiliating defeat, even though their husbands had a cordial phone call, sources confirmed. In quotes, Mrs. Trump is not going, and they have not spoken, a source with knowledge said of the First Lady's told DailyMail.com of Wednesday's presidential sit-down. The last time Jill Biden and Melania Trump would have seen each other would have been at Rosalind Carter's funeral in November of last year. All living former first ladies attended. Four years ago, Donald Trump snubbed Joe Biden after Biden defeated him, refusing to invite him for the traditional Oval Office meeting and delaying the transition process. Melania Trump followed her husband's lead and didn't reach out to Joe Biden. The Bidens, however, have promised a peaceful and orderly transition to the upcoming Trump administration. The Bidens extended congratulations and a joint invite to the Trumps 
to meet at the White House, Jill Biden's office said. You know, we have a common phrase in America, boys can be boys, but you know, ladies, girls can be girls. And this kind of tit-for-tat childishness from four years ago is not only absurd, but America, get ready, because this is what you're going to see for the next four years, only it isn't going to be funny at all. Remember, Donald Trump was railing on Ted Cruz's wife, and when Anderson Cooper asked him, why did you respond that way? Donald Trump said, he started it first. Literally a reaction of a six-year-old. Well, here you have first lady to incoming first lady, and incoming first lady telling first lady, nah, you can take your job and shove it. Unfortunately, America, while it may not be you and may not be me, this is us. Stay strong. Onward.